Joining me now, former Congressman J.D. Hayworth, who is running against Senator John McCain in the Arizona Republican primary. Also from Phoenix, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who is no stranger to the fight against illegal immigration. And from Washington, Clarissa Martinez de Castro, Director of Immigration for the National Council of La Raza, the largest Hispanic civil rights organization in the United States. I'm going to go to Congressman uh, Hayworth first. Uh, Congressman, for some time you have advocated for laws, uh, specifically like 1070, that passed in Arizona. But at the same time, there seems to be a Tremendous resistance by the uh, by the Obama administration. What you were a congressman, you're running for Senate. What what can we do now to resolve this problem? Well, Janine, as you know, five years ago I introduced the Enforcement First Act, and while I was doing that, John McCain was teaming with Ted Kennedy to write the amnesty bill that they introduced not once but twice that would cost American taxpayers 2.6 trillion dollars in retirement benefits alone for illegals granted citizenship. And Janine, I have to tell you, when I heard our president speak earlier this week, I was struck by the fact that it seemed that he was unilaterally declaring surrender, that he is not interested in enforcing the law, that instead he is taking a point of view that is really the exact opposite of his campaign slogan, we all recall, yes, we can. Well, well now when it comes to the border, our president is saying, no, we can't. We can't possibly enforce the border. Janine, to put it politely but bluntly, that's hogwash. Well, yeah, I know that term and I happen to like it. Clarissa, what about that? What about the fact that the president gave a speech this week, didn't talk about uh, the Arizona laws being unconstitutional, didn't say that uh, it called for racial profiling. Remember the comment he made, uh, you know, about a month ago saying you go to get ice cream with your kids and you could be arrested. And he didn't talk about pressing the lawsuit against uh, Arizona. What, what's going on? Is the Obama administration uh, backing off this? Well, I think what the president tried to do, as you know, the governor in Arizona has said that one of the reasons for this law is because the federal government hasn't acted. And I think what the president tried to do was to put out the case that we can fix this problem at the federal level. And I wouldn't say that he threw in the towel. Quite the contrary. The Obama administration has been putting more boots on the border, and I think Mr. Hayworth would know that if he, if he did his homework. But the reality well, is that there. what oh, he said. Sir, I've done uh, my you know, let me get to the I've reality is. Hold on, the two of you. Hold on. He said, let me get to the sorry. sheriff right now. Sheriff, you're there. You're in Maricopa County. And by the way, kudos to you. You've been elected five times sheriff. Um, what's going on in Arizona? Are the borders secure? Well, well, I'll tell you, I, I, I was a director there for four years in Mexico City with the U.S. Drug Enforcement. Well, let me tell you something about this so called racial profile. I think I'm being sued by La Raza. The Justice Department uh, launched an investigation 60 days in the Obama administration, came here to try to find out if my deputy's racial profile has been a year and a half. Nothing's happened yet. We've, we've 40,000 people we have arrested, investigated, or detained. And not 40, a one, not a one case of <laughs> racial profiling. Oh, well, that well, when the Justice that. Department, wait, wait a I minute, wait a minute, when the Justice, the Justice Department's been here for a year and a half going after me, I'm the poster boy. There's a couple lawsuits, which I think La Raza is part of that, uh, you ACLU, know what? No, which is no, not going to go Sheriff, anywhere. Let me, Sheriff, let me stop this for a second. Clarissa, the truth is there has not been one finding of racial profiling. The Sheriff is right about that. And the, this law specifically is harsher and tougher on law enforcement than the federal law. This law specifically makes it illegal to use racial profiling. Yes or no? Well, I think I think you heard the chief of Tucson talk about this and the oh, predicament the, that it the puts law enforcement city. in. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So now the voice of one sheriff value matters but, more but than this another. This is a sheriff I mean, who's very well, 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 going on. Well, All right, four or five JD, sheriff. Let, let me just say Lisa, there are members stand of law enforcement. We'll have more on the immigration the debate, uh, sheriff. You were talking about with Clarissa the issue of the number of racial profiling cases that have occurred, uh, and that there hasn't been one finding. Although apparently there have been investigations. You said for the last year and a half. By the Justice Department, you know, uh, thank God for J.D. when he gets to Washington, at least I have someone uh, to support me and back me up. I don't seem to get much support, especially from some uh, U.S. senators or politicians. Well, you are certainly supporting. We're doing the right you're thing. certainly supporting J.D. Hayworth in his race against John McCain, yes, and, and you I'm make that decision. Why, Sheriff? Why? 
because he's been around for five years. He's been talking about this. It's not, it's not politically expedient for him to do it now like some other politicians. It's a political issue. That's what the problem is with this, uh, this illegal immigration. So J.D.'s been doing it five years, and he's going to continue to All do right. it. All right. Now, J.D., J.D., if you were to be elected to the United States Senate, what difference do you think you can make as one person in Washington? Well, Janine, I think Election Day is going to make a big difference nationally. And I will tell you this, going to Washington, D.C. as a senator from a border state, one of my first actions will be to reintroduce the Enforcement First Act to make sure that what is happening here in Arizona, in fact, happens nationwide so that we enforce existing uh, immigration law, that we return to the original intent of the 14th Amendment, and that we supplement the Border Patrol with our military and get serious on the border. All right, Understand Clarissa, the irony. A couple of days ago. Okay. Clarissa, what, what's the problem with that? What is the problem with what uh, uh, J.D. is saying? Secure Here's the border. what I support. I support a solution. We have been 25 no, but what's years the problem putting with securing money on the border. border. I'm getting to there. We've been putting <laughs> money on the border, and I think you've heard that over 20 years, we have over 20,000 people on the border. We cannot solve it just alone with that. I support a solution no, 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 about no, no. fixing Clarissa, the legal Clarissa, immigration are you system. Saying, are you saying that our borders should not be secure? Is that what you're saying? There are other things that I we have I to think, do. I, think that, I don't think that you heard me say that. No, what the, I said I'm is that simply question. doing the enforcement I'm asking you that question. Piece, what is the answer to the question? We, of course we support secure borders, but what we have been doing so far hasn't fixed the problem. So doing more of the same alone, when we have seen for 20 years that it hasn't worked, takes us down the same road. I support a solution where we fix the legal immigration system, we put meaningful uh, well, what enforcement does that mean? How do we on the How do we fix the system? How do we fix it, Clarissa? I mean, we've right got 12 now, million illegals in this need, country. What do we do well, with them? But right now we have a system where people cannot come with a visa, so they come with a smuggler. What we need is a legal system that works, so it takes pressure off. Yeah, but, For people but no who country, are in the country Clarissa, illegally. Clarissa, no country can possibly handle the numbers of people who get free education, medication, housing. I mean, that's how many why people Americans should we take? want people to play by the rules, and that's why we should require people who Let's are in the country the illegally law. to get good with the law. They need to pay taxes. Americans want people to play by the rules. But, all right, Let's JD. Make people play by JD, the rules. let me ask you this. JD, let me ask you this. If I'm living in Belgium and I'm trying to come to the United States and I'm waiting for a visa, is it fair that other people can snub their nose at the law and say to the person in Belgium, you know what, that's your problem, I'm closer, I'll just walk over the, the border? It's not only wrong for the Belgians who want to immigrate here legally, it's wrong for the Mexicans who want to immigrate here legally to be suddenly shunted to the back of the line and make special accommodation for lawbreakers. No to amnesty, yes to enforcement first. And what we heard from Clarissa, Clarissa was the dancing around the point. The solution is not amnesty. Again, asking for the amnesty. Solution is That's not exactly amnesty. what you're not, talking about. Talking you and the president have declared surrender, Clarissa, and okay. it's shameful. Oh, we Mr. need to get control Hayworth, of our borders. Please. Let me, let me no. bring Clarissa, the I'm telling the absolute Let's truth. Let's bring the sheriff in. Sheriff, the you know you better are close than to that. the ground here, Sheriff. What's going on with the drugs, the drug cartels? We just had a governor in Mexico who was uh, a, a gubernatorial candidate who was killed. Real fast, 15 yeah, seconds. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of violence there, but I'll tell you what, we're locking up the illegals in the interior. Everybody talks about the border. Let's enforce the law also in the United States of America. Okay. All right. J.D. Hayworth, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, Clarissa Martinez, thank you all for joining us in this always passionate discussion.